Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter. This is Spread em for Light. So, Spread Build for Light Bow Gun. And I'm really bad with this build, but luckily the uh, build is so darn good it basically just compensates for lack of skill, which is a rare feat in Monster Hunter. Normally, when you get to the end game, a certain amount of skill is required. So, what is this build all about? Well, it's got quite a lot of utility so for you to uh, mess around with, but it is pr predominantly a spread build, and you can really just chew through pretty much everything. Now, there are two variants to this build, and one of them is sort of general purpose, use it against whatever you want, which is the one I'm using here against lovely old Nurgle Gurgle, and the second build is basically predominantly all about the Rathian. Now you do have some great utility options like I previously stated and one of these is basically spamming dragon ammo like a little bitch and it does do some uh, do some serious serious damage in this front. So without further ado let's have a gander at the skills and equipment. So, for this build, we're using the Kiar Blitz Decay, again, simply because it has 10% affinity and pretty decent raw, so you can actually do some seriously decent damage with this. How this lines up with the Devil Joe light bow gun, I honestly can't tell you, but I kind of feel this would potentially be able to do more consistent damage, simply due to the fact that it doesn't start off with negative affinity. From here, we are using a health augment, because why not? Nergagante Alpha Helmet with an attack decoration, Draken Alpha Chest with a release decoration, Xenogiva Gamma Gloves with two tenderizer and an attack decoration, Xenogiva Gamma Waist with spread and one more attack, and then Xenogiva Boots with a tenderizer, Expert and True Shot. Finishing it all off, we have the Awakening Charm. What this actually gives us is obviously Spare Shot, Critical Element, Attack Boost Level 4, Critical Ally Level 3, Critical Boost Level 3, Free Element Level 3, Witness Exploit Level 3, Maximum Might Level 2, Special Ammo Boost Level 2, Power Prolonger, we don't really care about, and then Spread Shot, which is, you know, kind of a requirement. In total, this has 327 EFR and 95% affinity. If you're pretty good at dodging, unlike me, as you can clearly see, I'm so bad with this build, feel free to put a damage or perhaps even a health augment in, and you can possibly put another attack decoration in where that expert is. It's entirely up to you. Now, as for the second build, and this is a bit weird, this is mainly focused on as your Rathalos and Pink Rathian, which I am completely in love with because I don't know why, but the bane of my existence throughout playing a lot of the Monster Hunters has always been Pink Rathian. Gold Rathian, easy. Rathian, easy. Rathalos, as your Rathalos and Silver Rathalos, easy. Pink Rathian is. I don't know why I just struggle with her. So, this build is designed all around her it's essentially the exact same so skills and equipment people the only thing that we're doing different on this build is on the boots rather than having the expert and true shot we are using two dragon this gives us more use out of the dragon ammo that this thing so lovingly throws out and then adding in critical element Against these monsters that are very, very weak to dragon damage, it does a hell of a lot of damage. And this is also one of the reasons we are using the health organ, because the health return from these is absolutely brilliant. Now, the downside to this being is this does drop your EFR down to 323 three, and your affinity down to 91%. But it doesn't really tend to matter simply because you just hit that damn hard anyway. As for bowgun customization mods, we're using two recoil and a close. There is no way to fix the reload on the spread three 
I'm afraid simply putting three reloads in won't do enough. You're still going to have to be stationary, as well as the fact that you'll then get the knockback from the recoil. So the best we can do is adding in two recoil, which puts it down to normal, and adding in close range simply because, well, you're using spread. That extra 10% damage is going to be lovely. So this is my lovely little spread light bowgun setup. It works absolutely beautifully. I possibly do need to take a little bit more care when playing with this and stop being so aggressive and actually pay attention to what the monster is doing. It is a great, great little build. And that is me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you guys again pretty soon. Good luck. Have fun. And don't die. It's bad for the health.